Hello, welcome to today's Nature Moment. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you a little bit about this little fella that's right outside the window at the drive-thru at the library. The yellow garden spider is also known as the writing spider, zigzag spider, hay or corn spider. The spider's Latin name translates to gilded silver face. They are found throughout the continental United States, Canada, Mexico, and Central America. The male garden spiders are usually around one quarter of an inch in length, with the females being around an inch. The one in this video is a female. Males are less striking in appearance, being smaller with brownish legs and less yellow coloration on their abdomens. These spiders may bite you if you disturb or harass them, but their venom is harmless to non-allergic humans. Their bite is roughly equivalent to a bumblebee sting in intensity and will cause redness and swelling. Though the spider is not aggressive, the very young, elderly, and those with weak immune systems should exercise caution, just as you would around a beehive or hornet's nest. You can find garden spiders in areas where they can stay concealed and protected from the wind, either in open fields or along the eaves of buildings where they can securely stretch a web. The female's web is usually larger than the male's and has a circular shape, usually up to two feet in diameter with a dense zigzag of silk known as the stablementum in the center. The purpose of the zigzag is disputed. It is possible that it acts as camouflage for the spider lurking in the web center, but it may also attract insect prey or even warn birds of the presence of the very difficult to see web, which prevents them from flying through it and destroying it. The web normally remains in one location for the entire summer, but occasionally the spiders may change location to find better protection or better hunting. Each night, the spider consumes the circular interior part of the web and then rebuilds it with fresh silk each morning. Yellow garden spiders breed twice per year. The males roam in search of a female, usually building a small web nearby or sometimes actually in the female's web. They then court the female by plucking strands on her web in a very deliberate manner that she understands. Often, when the male approaches the female, he has a safety drop line ready in case she attacks him. After mating, the male dies and is sometimes even eaten by the female. Yellow garden spiders are beneficial for your garden. They consume lots of common landscape pests, as well as bees, moths, beetles, wasps, and just about any other flying insect that gets trapped in its web. Thank you for joining me for today's Nature Moment. I hope you enjoyed it.